Welcome to Lyrical Pursuit, the game that tests music lovers on how well they know the lyrics of today and the past. This week, as we do every week, we got two teams going head to head. Team A, we got Aaron and Nandi. Introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, I'm Nandi and I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I am an AD. Hey. All right. I'm Aaron. I live in Augusta. I'm a programmer trying to get this win real quick. You know? All right, Aaron and, and um, Nandi hey, from, the, from TA. One hey. no, from Augusta, one from Atlanta. We're just going to say the A. All right. <laughs> team, B, team B, we got Ruben and Amos. Burr, 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 burr. My man Amos is a two timer. He only knows gospel songs. So hopefully, he's been listening to some other stuff so he can help my man Ruben out for that. So, Team B, introduce yourself. All right, well, I'm Ruben, and I do everything sound. Okay. All right, I'm Amos. I'm from Augusta. Aaron, actually, my brother, we don't look alike, though. And uh, I'm a board game creator. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're a fellow black game creator. Black. Welcome to Lyrical Pursuit. The rules are as follows. In stage one, you show the category, then you get five seconds to pick which member of your team is going to answer the question. After you decide who's going to answer the question, you get 10 seconds to answer the question. If you don't answer the question right, then the opposing team can steal that answer and get those points. Y'all got it? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, let's go. Team A, you up first. Let's see what your category is going to be for your first question. The category for Team A is the 90s. Who's going to go? 90, got it. Okay, we can do that. Got it. <laughs> Threw you under the bus. Okay, the question is, how can you unbreak Tony Braxton's heart? Say you love me again. You got to sing it, though. Oh, say you love me again. <laughs> Wow. All right, y'all get the points. That's a hundred points for Team A. Oh, I know. <laughs> team B, you up now? Let's see what your category is. The category is the seventies. Who's gonna go? Ruben got it because he sound old. <laughs> oh, <damn it>. oh. <laughs> Ruben is an old name, though. Okay, why did Gladys Knight say that man was leaving on the midnight train? Ooh. Um, hmm. Oh, man. Uh, Your time is up. You are not a Gladys Knight fan. Team A, you can steal this question. Why did Gladys Knight say that man was leaving on the midnight train? Can anybody say it or? Yeah, anybody from Team, team A can say it now. Uh, he was going to Georgia, right? You know the answer, you gotta sing it. Oh my, I don't uh I don't remember the exact cadence she sung it in. Just say it. Say it. Say it. Uh, midnight sing train it. to Georgia. I think that's well, I don't know if that's why he was leaving though. I don't think that's what? why. Let's see what the answer is. What's the answer? Say so he's going back he's to going back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But he was going to Georgia. And as people from Georgia, I feel like you should know that answer. But that's that's neither here nor there. All right, Team A, you back up. The category is the 80s. Who's going to go? I can do it. I'll go with it. Go. All right, Nandi, here we go. You seem confident. Why did Luther Vandross say a house is not a home? Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's all good. Uh, I don't know it either. I'm being nice today. I'm not going to make fun of y'all. Tim B, <laughs> do you know why did Luther Vandross say a house is not a home? It's close to gospel, <laughs> Amos. You should know it. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Let's just. We're gonna throw out a guess because because you not there. Ooh yeah. That's <laughs> almost. That's almost even real. The ooh yeah. yeah. Right. You almost had it. But the <laughs> ooh yeah is Jodeci. Oh, that's when what it was. there's no one there to hold you tight. And no one there. I, I didn't know it. 
That basically yeah. what I said. I had said the same thing. You know, <laughs> you know what I said. You basically said that, but you ain't really say that shit. That, so that's, that's all right. That's true. That's all right. Team Man. B, you up now, and the category is the nineties. Who's gonna go? Go ahead, Ruben. Oh yeah, I got this. You got this. All right, Ruben. Here we go. Why did Anita Baker apologize? I don't think I got this. Um, <laughs> he gave up quick. I see you thinking though. All right, you don't know. Team A, you can steal this. Why did Anita Baker apologize? I just, I literally yeah, I just remember the cars. If it ain't in Sweet Love, <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> Only Anita Baker song you know is Sweet Love. Okay. Yeah, Let's see what the answer is. They don't know. The answer is because I know I was wrong. And so I sing you this song. That was the worst oh. lyric ever. <laughs> yeah, that, a man must wrote that because we know a woman wrote that. <laughs> Team A, your third and final question of the first round. The category is the seventies. Who's gonna go? Come on, Aaron. Uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. We <laughs> both go, go miss it anyways. It don't matter. Let's go. What news did Bill Withers want to spread about getting used? Man, let me think about Bill Withers' song. Uh, what is the actual words, though? Oh, my gosh. Like, I know the... Time is up. Team B, you don't got no points, but you can get on the board if you know what news did Bill Withers want to spread about getting used. Did Bill Withers do the same lovely day? Is this the yeah. same person? You know, you know, you know, That's all we got, man. <laughs> Sing that a smile for you song. song. You don't even know who Bill Withers is. Bill is going over in his brain right now. You don't even know who he is. <laughs> all right, let's see what the answer is. Let's see what the answer is. If it, it feels this good getting used, then use me till you use me up. Yeah, I, I can't sing it, Bill, boy. Words. Sing it. <laughs> all right, Kim B, this is your third and final question of the first round. The category is the 80s. Who's going to answer? Oh, I got y'all. I got y'all. You got us? Yeah, boy. Here we go. Is. I got this. You got the 80s. It's a Bobby Brown question. Come on, fam. How did Bobby Brown feel about people calling him crazy? Bobby Brown. The king of pop. Let Whitney tell it. I feel like... I don't know the answer. Mm -mm. <laughs> Team A, do you know the answer to why or how did Bobby Brown feel about people calling him crazy? Uh, this is before my time, so. But it's Bobby I, I Brown. Know. Was it my prerogative? Is it what song it was? It's, it's my prerogative, but. All right. I don't care. I don't care. I'm Who a big that? person. I did. Nandi said that. Give us our point. Nandi said it. But you got to sing it, though. You got to sing it. Just sing it. It's okay. Listen, I really don't care. <laughs> That's my prerogative. Oh, God dang. They go. say I'm crazy. I but did. I was young when that came out. I had to. I did watch the new edition story yesterday, too. <laughs> yep, I had the hat and pants and the patent leather shoes and all that. I thought I was buying Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Not, not the hair. Yeah. I had to dump it down. All, right all you there. missing was the cocaine. Was <laughs> I was in middle school though, so I couldn't sniff. But if I was, okay, old, okay. Old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is the end of round one. At the end of round one, we got Team A up two hundred to nothing. Now we start from the A. Now we start round two. In stage two, we switch it up a little bit, and now the opposing team can pick the category for the other team. If they were paying attention, they would know what answer they didn't get right. But since oh, Team B oh. didn't get nothing right, you can pretty <laughs> much pick from any category. You can pick from any category. So Team A, what category do you pick for Team B? 60s and 70s, 80s and 90s, 2000s and 2010. Hit them with some 60s. 60s and 70s. That's what they want to hit Team B with. Yeah. 
Team B, you ready? 60s and 70s, moving and aimless. Y'all ready? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> ready as ever. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What did the emotion say you had the best of? Oh, uh, y'all tripping. <laughs> Dang. You had the best of my heart? Love, love, best of my love? I think you are. <laughs> I think you might be right if you said that. You, you have the best of my love. Oh, oh. oh. there you go, Ruben. <laughs> hey. Hey. Come on, come on. We on the board. Oh. We let y'all have that first round. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, team D. All right, Ruben and Amos. Here's your second question. Another Bill Withers one. Oh, when did Bill Withers say you should call on him? This is a, this is one of the most famous songs ever. Um, when the night has come, is that the time? No, Bill Withers okay, is gonna cool, hunt cool. y'all tonight. He's okay. gonna come <laughs> and y'all <laughs> like the ghost of Christmas past and hunt y'all. Team A, do you know mm-hmm. when did Bill Withers say you should call on him? I see blank faces. It, what's this song about? A lovely day. <laughs> I don't think it's that <laughs> Dude, got to do it with smiling. <laughs> she just said a bill with a song. I, I, a Hail Mary. I take that. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is when you need a hand. Oh, that's the common sense. All right, cool. I could guess that. When you yeah. need a hand, you can call on me. Bill with it. All right, <laughs> Team B. Here's your third and final question. Of the second round, what did Casey and the Sunshine Band want you to shake? Your money, shake maker. your booty. Oh, there we go. Shake okay, your man. booty. Hey, I think that one is that long. Just so I can do, 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 do. Oh. I see you dancing too. You right? All right, let's ride it out. Shake your booty. Oh boy, Triple Triple no no assist, Ruben over there. Right. Sunshine Band. All right, Team A, you up now. But Team B, before they can go, you got to pick the category for them. What category is going to pick? 60s 70s. and 70s, 80s and 90s, 2000s, 2010s. 60s and 70s. 60s yeah. and 70s. Yeah. yeah. Team A, mm-hmm. Aaron and Nandi, y'all ready? Hey, yeah. we up. Let's do it. Came back. It's tied up, 200, 200. Here we go. What don't the emotions want you to do? Another emotions question. Man, they got the easy emotions question. <laughs> Cry. I don't think there is an easy emotions question. They don't know the answer. Team B, you can steal this and take the lead. What don't the emotions want you to do? Break Blank face. Stairs. He said, cross my heart. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a whole nother song. A whole nother okay, game. Yeah, okay. Let's see what the answer is. Don't ask my neighbor. Ain't nobody never okay. heard that song. Uh, yeah, Emotion. okay. You ain't never heard Don't Ask My Neighbor? I didn't know those emotions. I, I uh, no, sir. know the song. Definitely not I've been emotion. thinking about We talking about our emotions. I didn't know this was a group to just now. <laughs> I had no clue what we were talking about. didn't even know the emotions was a group. He like, I, 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 I was, I was looking within, like that, yes. <laughs> My emotions were me to do. My emotions? I feel angry right now. Okay. <laughs> yes. Team A, your second question. What did Shirley Murdoch forget as she left? Hey, who did? I forgot about <laughs> tomorrow as she left. Let's go. All right. Nandi been through something in her life. She was listening to Shirley Murdoch in the world. Or she you know, old. I don't no know. Question. <laughs> Both. I'm going to ask no questions. We just, you know. We know if you oh, know that Shirley Murdoch song, you've been through something in your life. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Team A, this is your third and final question. Team B, if they don't get it, y'all got to steal it to tie it up because it's three to two. So y'all be thinking, <sighs> what was all of Aretha Franklin was asking for? A little, a little respect. respect. That's, That's, not little little That's not how the song goes. That's not how the song goes. That's all you got to do. R E S P E C E T. Find out. R E S P E T. Y'all better put some respect on this. Oh, this you ate on. I should have said 2010s just last win. Put some respect on that win they just gave y'all. After 99 and 2000s. 
So we got Team A that just won stage two. The score is 400, 200. Team A, you move on to stage three. Okay. There can only be one champion. So that means teammate goes against teammate. Aaron against Nani. You get 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can from any category that comes up. If you don't know the answer, say pass. Little word of advice. If you read the question and you know off top, you don't know who Bill Withers is, I would pass. <laughs> okay. That's a little shot at my Team B people because they lost Bill Withers twice. Here we go. Y'all ready? Who's going to go first? Aaron and Nani. Nani got it. Okay. Nani, Nani you go it. first. Yeah. All right, here we go. How long did Mary J. Blige sacrifice? Pass. No. What does Shante have at home? Shante has a man at home. You got to sing it, though. Shante's got a man at home. All right. Question three. According to David Bannon, what do real girls do? Get down on the floor. On the floor. Oh, hey. All right. <laughs> what does Fetty Wap do with his trap queen? Pass. Besides, look out one out. When did Ray Parker Jr. say you should call Ghostbusters? Pass. All right. What else did Rupert Holmes like besides pina coladas? Now, Rupert Holmes is I an old man. I went out past midnight. That's the first oh, song. Is that you right? We ain't got even call the rain that much. Um, well, that ain't right. That's the wrong part right. of the song. What does Cardi B want you to, where does Cardi B want you to park <laughs> that Big Mac truck? Y'all gonna laugh because I don't know. Pass. You got two questions right. Two up. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty good. Because I don't know if Aaron's going to get as many right. We'll see. Aaron, are you ready? I'm ready. Aaron is ready. Here we go. Aaron, your first question is, what did Bell Bib the Bow say you should never trust? Uh, he said, you don't know what Bell Bib the Bow Uh-uh, skip that one, one too. Oh, my God. I'm going to find three questions. I know. What should you do if you don't want Fantasia? <laughs> I uh, skip. Yeah, stole my point out here. How does Lizzo feel after her hair loss? Skip. After her hair toss. <laughs> I don't know if she lost her hair or not. According to Usher, how do you know when you got it bad? When you hang up and call right back. Hang up and call right back, you know? All right. Here's your next question. You got to get one more. According to the city girls, what you happens? You can get smacked up? up. Act up, you can get smacked up. <laughs> Snatched up, same thing. We keeping it going. I don't know. We're going to talk about that one. What game does Harlan Oates want to play tonight? Yep. yep. For all their lives, what did Casey and JoJo do? <laughs> so, yep. Ooh, I know it, but I can't remember the lyrics. Nandi, you are today's winner of Lyrical Pursuit. Everybody give Nandi a round of applause. Nandi, you win. You win a t-shirt. You don't win this t-shirt. Cause I don't got the lyrical pursuit T-shirt on, but you win a lyrical pursuit T-shirt. So I want to thank, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Team B, Ruben and Amos. Team A, Aaron and Nandi. I want to thank those at home and watching. This is Channel Seven Lyrical Pursuit. I'm your host, Dame Elgie. Till next time, peace, y'all.